Hey everybody, my name is June and I'm a developer and design evangelist at Zeppelin. And today I'm super excited to announce a webinar series called Figma and Zeppelin Better Together. In this series, we're gonna share the best practices of using Figma and Zeppelin from hundreds of different companies. To kick off the series, we have two special guests today. The first one is Mike Pitt, who's from Zeppelin and has worked with Autodesk for almost two years. And I have Kate Lee from Autodesk as well. And Kate, it looks like you started 12 years ago at Autodesk and you started your journey as a web visual designer, and now you are a principal UX visual designer and manager. Is that correct? Yes, it is correct. Awesome. <laughs> so today, Kate is gonna share how uh, all of us is using Figma and Zeppelin together and some best practices. So to start off, uh, we talked about your title as a principal UX visual designer and manager. Can you tell us a little bit about that role um, and what all of us does? So Autodesk is a software company that develops products that service different multiple industries. Um, those include architecture, engineering and construction, product design, manufacturing, and media and entertainment. And as far as my team, um, I've been a part of the visual design team for the past 12 years, same team, all intact. And we, um, we service a, a multiple groups that take care of different experiences across the customer journey and from those we uh, usually take care of the handoff directly to engineering mm -hmm. um you know, that's it. But, cool and uh <laughs> it looks like your team manages over 120 products is, is that right so uh autodesk has over 120 products and essentially they do have their own subsites um, all within autodesk.com but mm -hmm. up until now we uh, also maintain two other platforms that focus on different areas of the customer journey so we are maintaining 120 plus uh, sites and templates all right so kate can you tell us a little bit about your team's workflow today so our workflow, it like uh, it really depends on the type of project. Um, a lot of times it's maintenance, but we do do a lot of optimization and new experiences depending on what we get from user research. Mm -hmm. um, and then when we do that, when we engage, we start, we well, we do get engaged earlier on. So we work with UX, the different mm -hmm. UX groups. And from there, once we've gotten a uh, concept down then we move on to the high fidelity uh, visual design process and from there we'll include uh, development earlier on to make sure that things are um, they are feasible then we mm. hand off to development through Zeppelin and we'll do our collaboration throughout uh, the whole sprint process and then we get into QA where everyone involved in the project kind of jumps in mm. and um, make sure that everything is in line with what was originally um, designed. Cool, cool. So that's really awesome that you get your developers in early on and to see the feasibility of everything to make sure all cylinders are firing. Uh, I wanna kind of revisit this one point you had a little bit before on consolidating 120 brands. What's that workflow process like now? Um, so uh, yeah, then up until recently, we have only focused on the 120 plus uh, uh, subsites in our website, but then um, including, we are now including two uh, platforms that focus on other phases of the customer journey. Mm. So during, during, with that merge, we kind of realized what, how much, how siloed these groups were. So that actually, kicked off another initiative where we um, started researching and auditing and towards uh, doing all that towards uh, creating a unified design system. We are still in early stages, but um, it is something that we're actively doing right now. What are the top three challenges you were facing before you decided on Zeppelin and Figma, Kate? Top three. So we have been using Zeppelin before all of this. So it's, and it still remains the same. Um, the top three was that we had, 
we just didn't have enough time to work on red lines and uh, and then there was the uh, the, the stakeholders using legacy versions of of red lines mm -hmm. and then other stakeholders not knowing what we're working on or the most current version of it so um those were our top three gotcha and you mentioned first of all something about red lines and using legacy tools so what was the process like that before like we're using pdfs or something like that oh yeah so i would spend like myself i would spend hours maybe like just hours on working on really detailed uh, specifications through pdfs and i would have like a final final version of like version 30 35 and somewhere along those lines a developer would be like hey um so this part is missing it's like you are looking at version 2020 and we are on 35 so it's like there was a lot of that there's a lot of uh lost emails because we did that uh communication that way um that was the only way we could do it um but yeah that's where the bulk of the issues came from gotcha and you talked about having a developer know what the final final design is can you talk a little bit about why it's important to have like a neutral space for designers and developers um it was important because we knew that if it was there in this one central place, that it was the mark, the final. And then um, like for with Zeppelin, since there's versioning, um, like they could always go back to see where and what changed. But then the most important part was that we put the stake in the ground saying this was the final. It also gave us a platform to like, uh, be able to kind of understand each other's communication styles because a lot of the times all the you feel like like i can i'm, I'm guilty of this when i was uh, first started i would say i would think that i'm laying it out like detailed and accurately but later on i would find out it's not how they actually look at specifications so mm -hmm. it it gave us a place uh common ground to actually ask each other questions but, cool. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, so common ground to ask other people's question. And do you also find it that other stakeholders now uh, were, were having problems with the whole collaboration process? Yeah, I think um, it was the idea of sharing the right document. Like I said, with um, PDFs, they could have, the project manager might have sent an older version where something might have actually drastically changed, and then um, we find out later on that um, like whatever we end up with is a surprise um, to some reviewer because they were given something older. So we just talked about some challenges that you were facing. Now, can you tell us how Zeppelin and Figma addresses those challenges? Sure. Um, ever since using Zeppelin, and this is before all the new features, um, it has taken a lot of uh, a load off of our backs. So, um, so what Figma brought in, since it's relatively new in our process, is mm -hmm. that it allowed for the collaboration in the conception phase, like the, the ideation and then the back and forth between UX and visual design. And uh, so we already always knew what version, what, what file we were working in because it does versioning on its own. So that took something off of our list of things to do. And then when we got into delivery, delivery we no longer had to um, do the redlining because it's uh, just as long as visual design got a hold of the file and was able to fine tune and be more accurate. Uh, all we needed to do was upload and it, we would have this central place where you'd find the one true source for everything. And and because we've established that process with development, they knew where to go. They knew what they were that that what they were looking at was the the most current version. So gotcha. I think that's so. uh, I think that's an important point, Kate, on uh, the automation with those red lines. How um, how much time do you think that you were saving? per week just by having automatic red lines uh, to, to development? 
So, uh, so I'd have to think back six or five years ago, plus years ago, as uh, as an OCD, I would take maybe because of how detailed I would be, maybe two hours at most. Mm. Um, I mean, at most, minimum. <laughs> And it would depend on if it was a new project or uh, or something uh, like an optimization of something, but it was like two hours minimum, pretty much. And then that's not including any kind of adjustments um, to business requirements or or build um, requests. Wow, so that's definitely a lot of time saving. Is it safe to say like you're saving probably like a day per week? Uh, yes, if not more, um, cool. something I'm glad to let go of. Nice. That's awesome. Now you were talking before about the issue on the lack of clarity on final designs. Mm -hmm. Now with Figma and Zeppelin together, how, how does that work? So, um, like I said, like Figma is a, is something that we introduced to the process. Um, it could do a lot of things. It could do it all, but, uh, there are just some things that I think uh, where it's best left at for the uh, single task tools. So what that like going to Zeppelin for uh, for handoff instead of using Figma. I think one thing it, it, it did was allow uh, us to put a stake in the ground, saying this is the final, and then whatever you saw in Zeppelin, that is what you would follow up with engineers would follow as being the source of truth. Um, if we had done that in Figma, it's um, it could it could be done, but because you are whenever you're sharing a link, it's sharing a link to someone's workspace. So not necessarily, I mean it'll just zoom in on something. So um, it's it's something it, it kind of added to the work that we needed to do, like walking through each developer to make sure they were looking at the right uh, composition. All right, Kate, so it seems like, you know, developers are finding their new home in Zeppelin, designers are finding their new home in Figma. Now, what does your team like most with the new workflow? No red lines. It's, um, I think that it's just made everything much more efficient. Um, that was just, that was the main reason. I think uh, there's less guesswork on where to find everything. Everything Definitely. was there right when you needed it. And I think it echoes what you said beforehand in terms of having a developer get what they need when they need it and knowing what the final, final, final design is, right? right. So I think that's really awesome. Um, you also mentioned a little bit before about having a spot to put everything and to find everything as well. Can you explain a little bit more about that? So, um, you know, the work with uh, the unified design system, like what Figma is giving us, it's a platform to actually share those, uh, that like a toolkit, the new standards more effectively. Um, what uh, Zeppelin is doing on that front is uh, uh, like, no one's having to search for assets. No one's having to guess what is actually a standard with the interjection of a connected components, for instance. So, like I said, it's made much, it made, it's made the process much more efficient where everything is where it needs to be and everyone knows where to find them. So it's like finding that, um, that UI kit, Figma's, Figma has made a lot easier, right, through their the kind of ease of use of their library's functionality. Is that safe to right. say? Right, yes, um, and exactly. <laughs> and then um, with the style guides in Zeppelin, because that was actually something relatively new um, when we first started out. It gave us a place to kind of just give it home for engineers to, to refer back to and say, oh, yeah, this is a, a, a common component that we use or style that we use throughout. Thank you for sharing your whole journey on Figma and Zeppelin working together. Now I'm super interested on what exciting thing is coming next. You talked about connected components a little while ago, but we'd love to hear from you. Implementation of connected components is something that we were looking forward to. And then I, 
if it, it was just a timely um, introduction because uh, because of the work that we're doing for unified uh, design system, it's going to make things that much more efficient, uh, especially when, uh, after implementation. Gotcha, super cool. So in terms of connected components and setting that up in terms of implementing it, are you having the developers on board to help it out? Are you, is it all design? How, how does that process work? So it's it's in tandem. Uh, designers are working uh, to kind of standardize those styles, and then they're working closely, or working closely with engineering to show to make sure that they're being implemented correctly. Mm -hmm. um, so they're we're very much involved in each other's process, and this is I think the most we've ever really uh, been connected. Not to, like as a pun or anything, but yeah. Pun intended. I like it. Yeah. So I think, cool. uh, Kate, it, it really is about, um, you know, connecting those, that UI kit that you have in Figma to its coded counterparts, right? And, and that's what you're talking about when you're talking about connected components is um, viewing that, that code from this front end library that you have actually in somewhere like Zeppelin. Yeah, um, that has um answered a lot of uh, issues that we had before, um, knowing that we have that now and or will have that now in place. Uh, there's going to be less duplicative work on both ends. Um, knowing that we'll have this place to, to see what is, we've, what is already there, we can reference that and not just the designers, but engineers as well. So we're not having to uh, recreate the wheel or redesign the wheel. So um, that was just an exciting uh, announcement, but um, yeah. Cool. So are you also building out your um, coded component library too? Uh, we are in the process of researching, I guess the, the foundation of our components, but um, that will lead directly into uh, working with you guys to um, implementation of connected components. So, yeah. Great, I got great. A, I got a big job ahead of me. Yeah. <laughs> so now I feel you talked about connected components, about bringing the developer in, working more closely and connected with your design and development team. Do you feel that the developers now have more of a stake in the design process? Yeah, it's, um, and it, it always should have been that way. And it, we were working towards that way anyway, but I think like I, I've mentioned this before, it, it was having Zeppelin in place was a, like a, became a platform for us to kind of understand each other's needs a little bit more. And then even more so now that um, we're working closely together to get this done. Like, a, it's it's so intertwined. It's um, it's really hard. We could not do it without each other. <laughs> so. Awesome. Well, thank you, folks. Thank you, Kate. Uh, thank you, Mike, for joining me on this first webinar series on Figma and Zeppelin better together. Uh, thank you all for joining me as well. And stay safe and happy. Take care.